Hello guys, in this video I want to discuss something important, something I wish someone would explain to me when I just began to learn Unity, especially it's useful for 2D game development, and I'm talking about Vector2. So in game development, a Vector2 is a mathematical concept that represents a 2D vector or direction in 2D space. It is commonly used to store or manipulate the position, as you can see here, this is the position, right? Or you can manipulate velocity or direction or anything that is connected to movement, direction, rotation, anything that is connected with the changing state of the object. That's what you need Vector2 for. Uh, Vector2, let me open my graph over here, is a data type that contains two components. Usually we have X and Y. And X is mostly representing horizontal movement, Y representing vertical movement. This is how it works. These values can be positive, negative, or even zero. You can use it to control velocity, as I said before. You can use it to change direction, anything like that. For example, in platformer game, let me take this Mario guy, my boy, come here. We can see that position of the character at the moment is at the, let's say, um, 0 on the x and 0 on the y, right? He is right in the middle. Now, what if we want to move him to the right? What we could do? We could increase his velocity on the x so he moves to the right. If we wanted to move him to the left, we could decrease his velocity on the x and move him to the left, like so. Now, tell me quickly, and it's okay if you don't answer correctly, how you would make him jump in this case, what you would do? You would increase his velocity on the Y to make him go up. He's kind of small, right? Let me try to make him bigger. Okay, so you would increase his velocity on the Y. So he gained velocity, he goes up. And then by some like unity controlled uh, components, he would be pulled down by uh, gravity and goes back to the ground. And that's how it works. Basically, super simple. That's how it is. You want it to move right, you want it to move left. You just increase or decrease his velocity on the x. You want him to jump, increase his velocity on the y. Let's say we have um, another thing. Let me remove the Mario and we have an airplane that is not on the ground. It cannot jump, but it can move in the space. You can change transform position with the time in Unity. And I'm going to show you how to do these different things later in the course. For now, let's just try to understand the concept, right? And again, it's okay if you don't understand, just try to follow along. So the idea is we want to move this plane into this space again. And as you might understand by now, if you want to move it up, well, this kind of barely visible, right? Let me use another one. So if you wanted to go up, you would change his position towards the positive y. If you want to move him to the right, you would change position towards the x. And actually, let me just show you that. Um, I'm going to delete this, this thing. I'm going to delete it. Give me a sec. So I have a plane. And before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Dmitry Billets, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. Let's continue. I guess I can make it bigger a bit. So again, I have a plane and I want to move it down. I would decrease his position towards negative y. I want to go to the left, decrease the position towards d minus x. And that's how it goes. And actually, I'm going to show you the very same concept, but in Unity right now. If I go to my project over here, I can see position, right? That's the position. And I can change position on the x, move to the left, move to the right, move up move down. And the idea is just to know how to change this position, not with your mouse in the inspector, like so, but with a script you have on the object. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm trying to say is the basic idea is to know what you want to do. And let's say if you want to move object up to make it jump, you just need to know how to do it and how you do it. You change velocity on the Y. That's simple. Yeah, that is just, you know, kind of a basic example. I hope it clears a bit what we're going to do in the future. And if it's not clear to you now, believe me, once we start to implement it, you'll see why I showed you this graph and tried to explain all of these things about Vector2. There are many different things can be done with Vector2. You can use it to uh, change direction of the object. Let's say I have this car, right? 
now uh, it's facing to the right and it, let's say you want to turn the car to face this side how would you do it you would set direction of the car according to the vector 2 you have uh, and we can see that uh, let me use I want a darker color I don't know I don't like that color and as I said if you want to be facing this side then can you tell me what direction we need to set by using vector direction of a car would be x1 x1 y1 in fact in code it would be looking something like this is just example but it would be direction equals to new vector 2 1 and 1 this is how it would look right because we have one and one and let's say you want this car be facing this direction this direction like even this direction okay uh, let's say we want to car move to this direction as i showed you right this direction what we're we gonna do we're gonna check his uh x vector we're gonna just drag it we're gonna just drag it like so and now let's change his y vector so here is a cross and this is kind of like minus 3.5 and one on the y so you would go to your code and change it to minus 3.3.5 and one on the y and then your car would change direction like so and move to this direction that's the idea but again this is just quick example and we're gonna do this later in this course so no worries if uh, you feel kind of confused by this point it's okay i'm gonna show you everything and we're gonna do everything to make it work uh, let's go to next video thanks for watching rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly subscribe not to miss that check my website for more courses ask your questions in the comments below and remember we don't play games we make them